Neverwinter is not Neverwinter without it being filled with a bunch of bugs, and there's been some troubling ones as of late. Let's go through them and the devs' responses. First of all, they accidentally released the charity promo unintentionally to the live server where you could purchase the new mythic mountain companion that were supposed to be released with Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And with this being released early, some people were actually able to purchase them for for a very limited time, this being the mythic companion, which sadly not great stats. And so, well, the people who did purchase it are going to be able to keep it and their donation amount will be honored. But this will be coming out officially at a later date for everyone. Now for the Temple of the Spider, the short duration, three days of which it was on the previous server, the master version at least, Lasser got a bunch of data from that and a bunch of feedback on the forms. And he's going to be making some adjustments and was reporting back to us what he's going to do. You can see the general fixes there, just changing some FXs to make sure we can see actual mechanics. And then for the first boss, you can see a bunch of things there, like the traps were being triggered by, let's say, companions and otherwise reducing the damage and removing the ability to just leave the boss room via the door. The second boss has a lot more changes just here as you can see ultimately changing a few of the core mechanics from what I can read they're making it a little bit easier but on the other side making it a little bit harder for healers to heal those willpowers as they're going to have to use pretty much just their at will to heal them and otherwise covering up a hole making it so that the boss can't end up leaving the arena and the final boss again there was some invisible entity which you could attack in the middle they're changing it so that the cocoon will make sure you don't take damage from worthy sacrifice so you can't end up like dying within the cocoon which was actually a benefit to us because if you did then you wouldn't be dead dead when the cocoon expired you could just scroll again and otherwise the boss shouldn't be able to escape her arena that's about it you can read them there and he's making some adjustments to the achievements and of course making them be achievable and you can see there for example you're gonna have to destroy the cocoon within five seconds instead of seven which apparently is going to be doable and ultimately he's looked at all the data that people have been completing it this dungeon is supposed to be very difficult and very challenging and some groups can just not complete it they might have to improve their characters or just explore new strategies that's what he's been saying there in response to some people feeling that it's just overtuned personally it's in a great spot People on Xbox have been struggling to purchase Zen. Not 100% sure if that is fixed yet, but the dev apologized for it and they'll get it fixed ASAP. Additionally, the artifact choice pack from Roth Valley, that would be this one just here with the different artifacts available, was not obtainable. You weren't able to claim it even though you had progressed that far. The dev's response to this is they've temporarily removed the pack to fix an issue then it's been fixed internally and with the next patch it should get fixed maybe tomorrow if not next week additionally on consoles i believe you weren't able to hold down the chat pad to let's say communicate easily or you're unable to hold down your key for let's say mass repeating of tasks like spending morale and selling items to the frustration of you console players and the response from the devs again is they apologize for the inconvenience and they'll get fixed as soon as possible and something that's been infuriating those of you on i believe it's not just xbox it's ps as well since the last patch they've been basically getting kicked quite often from the end of a dungeon or trial just as you kill the boss so you've completed it yet as soon as the party gets disbanded you get kicked and then when you log back in you have no reward to compensate you for your efforts that is a pretty hard feeling I understand it. I've had it multiple times myself. It is infuriating. Again, they'll apologize for the inconvenience and they'll fix it as soon as possible. Those of you attempting to refine or upgrade your chain of scales to mythic weren't being able to. Even if you had multiple soulmonger ampules, it wasn't showing up as an option to get it from legendary to mythic. And this was then confirmed by multiple people and the dev's response was, Yes, they'll escalate it, and yeah, they are aware. I reported it myself and got a response of, they're aware as well. I guess it will get fixed sooner than late, hopefully. 
And otherwise, those of us who weren't able to participate in the first day of Help It will be getting an extension. I assume they're just going to extend it for everybody. So if you miss the day, well, you're going to have an extra day to get that extra token of challenge at the end. Or if you really haven't been doing much, get that achievement token to get that 14th day. This means they are delaying Masquerade of Liars as Masquerade of Liars is supposed to run its entire 14th day. And it's going to run then from 21st to November the 4th. That's shifting like everything over to Fridays, basically. And that's it to confirm those bugs you might have been running into and the responses from the devs that they are aware of those bugs. And so I'd like to give a special thank you to all of these channel members for their continued support. And if I present on this well, consider leaving the video a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.